Cuenca, Ecuador is a city of just under half a million people located in the Ecuadorian Andes, and it has attracted a lot of early retirees and people looking for a less expensive cost of living. But is it really that cheap? And what else should you think about before coming here? Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Chris, and we travel the world full time. This month, we've rented an apartment in Cuenca, Ecuador, where we're hoping to save some money and take advantage of the lower cost of living. Let's look at the prices of products and services across seven different categories, as well as a few other things to consider about the lifestyle here. Category one, groceries. There are lots of places to buy food in Cuenca, from the more expensive supermarkets to the less expensive mercados. From the grocery store, basic bread is $1.27. It's $2.43 for a dozen large eggs. And these empanadas, which we absolutely loved, were two eleven for the full package. The bakery section at the supermarket is pretty good, but if we head over to the Panaderia, we can get some really good options. We just got this entire bag of pastries and cookies and stuff for buck seventy, which probably isn't a good thing. Category number two, rent. We rented a very modern, cozy Airbnb just a short distance from the center of town for twelve hundred dollars for the month. It has a comfortable living space, a well-equipped kitchen with this pretty fancy fridge, a comfortable bedroom, and one and a half bathrooms. And because it's an Airbnb, we're paying way more than we would if it was a one-year lease. If we were willing to sign a one-year lease, we'd be able to get a beautiful apartment like this, fully furnished in the $500 a month range. I'm pretty sure we couldn't rent a closet for that amount where we're from in Vancouver. Category number three, healthcare. We don't want to find out about the healthcare system firsthand, but we've heard from other people that have gotten great medical care at super low cost. We met someone here whose father took a bad fall and needed emergency medical care, spent a lot of time in hospital, and then needed after care with doctors and physiotherapists. And after all of that, all of that care cost $25,000. In the States, it would have cost at least 10 times that. And on a more common, less serious note, we've heard from people here that a trip to the dentist for a regular cleaning is just $30. And if you want to join a gym to keep fit, a drop-in will run you about three bucks. Category number four, personal care. Regular haircuts here range from five to ten dollars. Yes, that's women's cuts too. Basic manicures and pedicures are typically under ten dollars. I went to a higher-end salon for a cut and full head balayage for my long hair, and the entire bill came to eighty-five dollars. I couldn't even get a cut for that at a similar category salon back in Vancouver. Category number five, restaurants. Let me preface this category by saying that the food in Cuenca is excellent. There is so much Ecuadorian food to choose from and lots of other cuisines too. Last night, Chris and I went out for dinner and had appetizers, entrees, desserts, and some beverages, and our entire bill came to just under $40. And then we took a 10 minute cab ride back to our apartment for just $2. Category number six, entertainment. There are so many things to do here, from karaoke nights and live music, to attending sporting events and checking out historical sites. Some of it costs a bit of money, but many things are free. We took a 15-minute, $2 cab ride to the Mirador de Turi, or Turi Lookout, and we didn't pay anything to take in the views. This is a great viewpoint up here. You can see pretty much the whole city. You can see the airport, you can see the cathedral downtown, and you can see where the rivers run through the city. It's pretty cool. There's also an adventure park once you get up here. We're not gonna do it, but it seems very reasonably priced. It's two bucks to go up, and then there's a bunch of different activities that you can pay for separately once you're up there. For example, the bicycle on a tightrope is $3. Category number seven, transportation. We've already mentioned a couple of our cheap taxi rides, and the buses and trams are also cheap, but unfortunately they're different systems. A one-way bus trip here costs 25 cents, but you can't pay cash, you have to preload the money on a card. The Tramvia tram fares are 35 cents and are also cashless, but unfortunately they use a different card system. And if you're thinking about driving, gas prices here will run you about $2.40 a litre. Cuenca, Ecuador definitely offers a much lower cost of living than many North American cities. And it's set in the beautiful Andes Mountains and has a lower crime rate than many other parts of Ecuador and South America. If you're thinking about moving here to take advantage of the lower cost of living, you should also be ready to embrace a new culture and not everything will be easy. Power may go out more often than you think. Roads might get cut off due to mudslides or protests. Neighbors may let their dogs bark loudly, even through the night. And things will just be different from what you're used to. But if you're willing to handle these types of things, Cuenca can be a great place to be. We're loving our time here, have met lots of wonderful and friendly people, and are enjoying this less expensive city. 
especially after our month in the pricey Galapagos Islands. We can definitely see why it's a popular place for early retirement and long-term travelers like us. And that's our video for today. We'll see you next when we get to Peru.